Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. It's Stix here and over the last couple of episodes we have been working on this area around here, bringing it to life. We have a few new buildings in here and we have this lovely courtyard thingy down here. I don't really know what that thing's called, but you know, that is awesome. Right guys, so I said you guys could name this and we only had one suggestion, so that's what we're going for guys. George the Lightbearer. That, that, is, that is what we're going for, so George... And then under here, the light. Hmm. Should we do one more line? Bearer. Damn it. I should have put George on the top line. Hang on a second. Let's do this again. There we go. George the light bearer. So thank you, Stargazer98. Always supporting the channel. Always there to comment when I actually ask you guys things. You know, you know, some someone someone could have had a cool name in here. And now uh only one person commented, so we've still got a cool name, but you know. Any of you guys could have commented. Any of you watching right now could have commented, but no. That's very sad, very sad indeed. But anyways, guys, I will forgive you. Let's uh, let's jump into today's episode where I want to continue working on this area. So George the Light Bearer, he's chilling out here, bringing some light, bearing some light, rather. Anyways, so this area has been quite open here. So I was thinking, why don't we put like a tennis court or something like that in here that the people can actually use? So I thought that would be a pretty cool idea. I think there will be more houses going down this way. So I think we'll fit a tennis court in here maybe. And then possibly have that like garden area that I was talking about down the back here. So yeah, today let's focus on the uh, the tennis court idea. So um, I think we'll have it at this level. Yeah, I think that could be cool. So I have a bunch of wool on me. Now I'm just wondering what we can do. Now I have a few ideas. So to do the lines, I could... Let's quickly make ourselves one of these. Make ourselves a crafting table. Good old crafting tables. Right, let's go. Do this. I think we should turn some of this into sticks. That should be enough. And then make ourselves some birch signs. Right, so the signs, if you can line them up correctly, you can get them to stand in nice lines, like so. And if this still works, we can place carpet on top of these. Hello? Hang on, hang on. This so used to work, right? Why can't I place this on- Why can't I place this on top anymore? Oh, you can. What the heck? You just can't place it on there. You have to place it against something else. And there we go. We have the lines running through. So, yeah, this green carpet looks pretty good. I'm wondering what the lime carpet looks like. Is that going to be too bright? I think it might be. Yeah, that's too bright for a tennis court, my friends. We're going to go for this carpet, I think, to separate it from the actual grass. And we can have the tennis court lines made with signs. Now, the only problem is uh, when we want to turn a corner like this, there's going to be a gap because I can't do anything about that. That's going to do that. And then it's going to have to look like that and have a gap. But I suppose that is the best that we can do, guys. So let's first of all map out the sizes. Since I'm a nerd, on my other screen here, I'm just going to quickly switch over here. I actually have the dimensions of a tennis court. So um, it's about 11 meters wide. And one of these blocks is supposed to be a meter. So let's try that. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, then we can place all these signs in. Like so. This is going to take just a little while. Come on there, my sign friends. Stick you in. And we don't have to see the silly bottoms of these signs. I really don't like the bottoms of uh, birch signs. This is just a test, by the way. I'm not sure whether this is going to go here or not. Just wondering how wide this is. Um, and if it's 10, we're not going to be able to get a center line. So we're going to have to go for 11. I said it was 11 anyway. What am I talking about? Silly. Silly boy. All right. Uh, let's place you in there. And then you there. Let's not write anything on the sign because it doesn't really matter. And there we go. Okay. I think this could work, my friends. I think this could definitely work. So yeah, looking like there's plenty of space for a house to go here. So that's nice. We can build that in as well. And then, so I suppose from there, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the center here. We're going to want to put signs down here to make this all line up with everything. Uh, so we'll have a nice line going down. Oh, well, yeah, you don't have a line straight away, do you? I'm like forgetting how a tennis court works for some reason. Um, that would be, let me see. That is five meters. One, two, three, four, five. So that would come to there before we'd have a sign going down the middle. Okay, that's pretty crazy. 
I didn't realize that was five meters. And then that is... How long is that one? Oh my goodness, I can't read this diagram. Well, I suppose that happens. These guys are pretty excited to play tennis. You idiots, get out of here. Get, get, I absolutely hate these idiots. I'm not even going to look at your trades. They're always so rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Get out of my face. Annoying. All right, the only issue I have is I'm going to take this one out, my friends, and connect this line right up. So we have less lines that are not connected up. There we go. Stick on some of this. And there we go. Okay, this is definitely looking like a tennis court. I love this idea. Okay, so this is going to be the net here. You have the net, that's why this has to be a full block, which you can't really tell from this side, so that's cool. Uh, then we'll have a post here, and then cobwebs going across here, which will be the tennis net, and then we'll start the same design on this side. I think I've got everything. Oh, that's right, there's another gap and then another line, so maybe we actually have to extend this out a little bit further, or bring this in by one. Um, hmm. Might have to bring that in by one, because you have that, like, bit on the outside. Although this does look like a tennis court, so... Um, I'm guessing it's going to look rubbish if I put this on an angle, isn't it? Can I put this on an angle, even? What is this going to look like? It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, my friends. It really isn't, but, um, yeah, I don't think we'll go for that. Let's keep it straight. Um, I think we'll keep it going straight with the outside line here. Or does it look better going this way? It's hard to tell. It really is. I think it looks better the other way. But uh, anyway, you guys get the idea. Let me build the other side, and this tennis court will be getting, will be coming together. That's really cool. That's a cool idea to start the episode off. I like that, indeed. Um, I just want to say quickly also, guys, that I am uh, moving house. I know I've said it a few times, but it's uh, really happening now. We have a date and everything like that. We're packing up stuff. Uh, things are going crazy. Uh, so I have a lot of other things to do, so there will be missed videos within the next few weeks. I'm, I've been sticking to a pretty strict schedule for a while now, but uh, yeah, the, there will be videos missed within the next few weeks. I do apologize, but uh, yeah, gotta move house, guys. Stressful, but it's, uh, it's all coming together. All right, I'll see you guys in just a second when we have the other side of this tennis court in. Alrighty, signs are in. Problem is they don't load in from far away, but this looks really cool up close. I really like this actually. As far as Minecraft goes, this is fantastic. Alright, what we're gonna do is stick a fence in here, a fence in here, and then we have cobwebs to go along like so. Like that, to be the net. Aha! Tennis court. Done. All right, that is, that is really cool, guys. So I think we'll put some extra carpet out here. I've just put the carpet away like a Muppet. But I think, yeah, we'll put some extra carpet out the side here. Make this one block wider. Just so they have a bit of area to run around. Maybe an extra two blocks back here, actually. That could go in nicely. And the tennis court is pretty much done, my friends. That is cool. All right, I am, I am very happy with that, actually. That was just a little idea that popped in just before I started recording. And I was like, you know what? Let, let's try it. Let's try it indeed. Okay, I think we need to put maybe a fence around this or something. Um, and then, like, gate it off from here. We need to fix all of this up here. And, yeah, that's all coming together nice. What else could we put in this area? So, obviously, we have this area down here that we want to work on. I'm not sure if we're going to get to that today. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time. Doing my best to keep the videos pumping out. But, um, right. Yeah. Okay, tennis court in. What else could we put here? Could put, like, a basketball court. But this is a Victorian I don't know if the Victorians really cared for basketball. To be honest, where I live, nobody really cares for basketball either. It's quite sad because it's my favorite sport. But uh, yeah, here in Wales, no one really cares. I'm sure there are some people, but uh, I feel like I'm the only one that cares. Anyways, guys, let's uh, let's continue to work on this. I am really happy with this. Just quickly going to fly up in the sky. If we come up here, we can still see the signs because I was looking at it from here. Oh, that is so cool, guys. You got to admit, that is that is cool. I really like that. Okay, tennis court is in, guys. I'm really happy about this, actually. Like I said, about 400 times. I think I like it. Right, that is good. I've uh, put in some uh, coarse dirt around the outside here. Built a little fence with stone pillars. Oh my goodness. It looks awesome. Okay, cool. I'm I, Like I've said 100 times, I'm going to say it again, guys. I really like this. This is cool. Cool idea. All right, done. Done. Tennis court is in. There's a little gate over here, how you get in and out. Comes out to here. Now down here, I suppose we'll start work on this, guys. 
So there are two doors at the back of this um, courthouse, there and there. So we need some steps coming down from there, I suppose, into like a courtyard type place. I think I'm going to make this like a very, yeah, kind of like this, actually, like uh, very strict shapes with like maybe some um, like vines going over and like an arch. That would be cool. I think that would be that'd be a nice idea. Some, something to walk through out the back, just a garden out the back here. I think that would be really cool. So that's what I'm going to work on. Let's get some stairs in there. What have we done out the front? I'm pretty sure it's just like stone colors. No, it's actually quartz. Okay, might have to do quartz again. And it looks nice with the slabs, actually. Uh, there are some quartz slabs over here. So let's grab them really quickly and place them down. Okay, so this is where the doors come out. So I think we'll probably have to put this in like so. Over to here. Uh, probably one out further than the actual door. That'd be a good idea. Make this about too wide before we start hitting down, I think. That could be the best idea. And now we go here and make it go down like so. And hopefully this is going to look really cool. How far down do we want to bring it? I think quite far, to be honest. Um, could we turn this into a different set of stairs? Like have it come out and then go down the side and then down that side as well? Uh, no, I think, I think this will look the best. And, oh, this works out perfectly for this amount, but I think we need to go down a few more blocks. Do we, or do we want it the same height as that? Huh. I was going to make it a bit lower than this, but maybe it's okay like that. I'll get some more slabs and see what we can see how if it looks terrible, making it even bigger. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, nice. Alrighty, guys, we're going to flip around. Done a bunch of building off camera here. As you can see, we have this all laid out. I brought the stairs down to this level, then I made it go flat. So we're not going to bring it all the way out. Then we're going to have this like balcony type thing is it still called a balcony when it's like on the ground like this like not sticking out of a building i don't know i have no idea words are not my strong point my friends anyways we have the steps they come down here uh yeah i i'm thinking of leaving this with the quartz but i think i'm going to take the quart uh it's not quartz is it the andesite out of here i think we should leave this as all stone and just leave the top like that because it gets a bit too much the sort like repeating pattern maybe once we get down the bottom again we can put the repeating pattern in but uh yeah i think i'm going to take all of those out for now and replace this all with just stone place that there and i think that will look a little bit better that was it's, it's a bit too much i didn't really notice while i was building until i've just walked through it now but uh yeah let's quickly fly up eat some food so Yes, we have that balcony. The, the steps come down here. We have the balcony, and then you can walk down these steps to get down to here. So this is where I want to put, like, a garden. And I think it's called a pergola or something, where you have, like, an arch and, like, vines grow over it. I really don't know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, have a look at that and see um, what real life things, what they actually look like. Like, I've walked through them heaps of times in, like, gardens and stuff. But, yeah, I'm thinking of turning this into grass now. So I don't actually have any grass on me. That's unfortunate. But I'm going to, I think I'll turn this to, like, grass with dirt paths and stuff and see what we can do with that. And make, like, a pergola thing and then put a bunch of leaves around it to make it feel like that. I think that could be cool going over to here. I need to be careful. I feel like I'm making this too big already because I need to build houses over here. So... That only need that only can come to here. So yeah, I need to be careful. I need to start building this stuff in now and seeing what that looks like. Right, so here we've gone for some walls. That just brings it back a little bit, and that's uh, some nice detail we can put in there. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna switch it out to just stone here. Uh maybe on the steps we could have it like this. I don't know. There's if there's lots of different things we need to, to work on here to make sure this is all looking fantabulous. Is that okay? I think that might be okay just on the steps. And then have these big areas like this without it. Like, yeah, let's let's take all of this stuff out and just make it stone. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. And hopefully we'll have like a pergola. If it's called a pergola, nobody knows. Someone knows, just not me. Definitely not me. Okay, this is slowly coming together now, my friends. I do need to grab a bunch of leaves, but I think there's some leaves and some chests down there. So we'll go grab them in just a second. But I'm trying to build this pagoda pagoda whatever these things are called i know there's lots of different names maybe those two names mean nothing at all but yeah that's what we're doing so we're using oak fences and oak fence gates here i might need to make a few more of these fence gates apparently um oh, oh no that is terrible don't you be doing that you freak right there we go place that in there right what i'm thinking for the top my friends is actually campfires now you're gonna be like 
what do you mean you're thinking campfires? But hang on a second. From the bottom, obviously, looks in what the heck? Give me the damn campfire. Okay, uh, let's go up here. We want to stick them on top. I'm wondering if they connect. Like, are they flat on the ground here? Right now, you're just absolutely losing your mind. You're like, campfires, really? Of all things, mate, what are you doing? But but trust me, guys. Trust me, just a second. We need to uh, not step on it. That would be a terrible idea. Get a water bucket. Okay, guys, so basically this is the idea. Now, I don't want to just make a very, like, square shape of leaves going around here. I want to mess them up like this. So, yeah, we want to probably bring some over here. Have that come up here. And then here, drop down and do a bunch of different shapes as we go around this thing. Yeah, that's starting to take shape already. So, as you can see, my water bucket has already put out these fireplaces, these camps, campfires. You, all you gotta do, get the bucket like that, place it on, pick it up really quickly. Uh, but if you pick it back up, it's gonna turn right back into a campfire again. So, yeah, as you're building this, you wanna make sure you're placing them in the spot that you want. I think that's what I want. Yeah, that's I want it to face that way. Okay, so if I go from this angle, is that going to go? Yes, that's what we want, my friends. So I'm going to I'm gonna put the campfires on each level here. I'm going to have to go out here to get this last one. Can I reach? Okay, I can't reach. I might have to go up there. Actually, we can do it from here. Aha! Oh, hit the wrong button. But anyway, okay, obviously it looks terrible with fire on it. But guys, that is the basic idea. So I'm going to put them on wherever these are here, wherever the fences are. Not the fence gates, just where the fences are. And then I think in between we'll have to put something else. I'm not too sure what we can put. Obviously, fence gates are going to come up here. But there needs to be something holding these vines up. Or maybe we just put in the leaves at like different heights here coming along randomly. I think that could be cool. Maybe, maybe we just do that. Maybe we don't need anything in between the campfires and stuff. That could be a cool idea. Okay, let's get the last of this in, and I'll see what it's looking like very soon. It should be looking fantastic, I'm hoping. Alrighty, it's finished, guys. This has not turned out as spectacular as I thought it would, but it does look cool from down here anyway. I think we've kind of run out of space here, but the general idea is pretty cool. We have, like, this courtyard out here with a place to sort of come and relax. And you know what? It's turned out okay, guys. It turned out okay. Uh, we have a few cool little designs here. We have the walls going across uh, with the stairs on either side. You have to put a block behind this, otherwise you can kind of see down. If, if you could get low enough, you'd be able to see under it as well. But that's just a slab there instead of a block, otherwise it makes these into proper fence posts, which uh, kind of ruins the whole effect here. But anyway, as I said, guys, we have this little walkthrough thing through here. Looking cool. I've replaced some of the uh, the oak leaves or jungle leaves. And you know, it's looking pretty damn cool coming through there. I like it indeed. So last couple of things to do today, guys, is to fix up this area here. Join this all up. Uh, bring this path over to probably here. Round it off a bit. And then put like grass and a bit of gardens going on here. That should, that should finish off this area nicely. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Pagola, Pagoda, whatever the heck your name is. It's a bit strange. Oh yeah, there's something I need I need to get up on the top here and fix this up just a smidgen. I think we need a few blocks that come out to the sides here. Just like that. So it's not just um not just a big line going through the middle there, because that looks kinda of funny. But anyway, just little things like that to just sort of finish it off. Yeah, okay, that's that's cool. Alright, nice. Let's uh let's finish off this area here. And it is done, my friends. We're just walking past the tennis court. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite things, surprisingly. It's quite simple. But anyways, this area here is complete. It uh, it just molds into here nicely. We have a few, just stuck in a few cobblestone here to make the uh, connection. The So it doesn't look like it just sort of changes instantly. That's looking okay. Fixed up the garden here. We have... Bit of blue, all the blue flowers and all the white flowers in here, just a bit different. And I've actually stuck some of the uh, sea pickles in here. They look kind of funny, but I kind of wanted to use them, you know? They, uh, they, they don't look that great out of water, to be honest. But, you know, it's a little something different. Just, just stick something in the world. That's a little bit different in the garden here. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but, you know, they look kind of cool. Anyway, a few leaves, bit of grass and stuff like that. I've come down here and placed in some random grass around as well. 
Everything's looking cool. I think maybe we could put some flowers down here. I'm not too sure. I think we should probably put in some like seats and stuff around here as well. But that's pretty much all the time we have left in this episode. So let's take a fly up into the sky. Have a look at it nice and quickly and see what it's looking like. Fly around here. Yes, okay, looking pretty cool. I really do love that tennis court, guys. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next episode.